Once upon a time, in a small town, there were two school students named Alex and Lily. They had been classmates and friends since they were very young. Alex was a kind and caring boy, and Lily was a sweet and cheerful girl. They both loved spending time together, laughing and sharing their dreams. As they grew older, their friendship blossomed into something deeper. They started to feel something special for each other, but they were both too shy to express their feelings. They would exchange secret glances in class and blush whenever their hands accidentally brushed against each other. It was a beautiful and innocent love that they both cherished in their hearts. One sunny day, their school organized a fun fair, and everyone was excited to attend. Alex and Lily decided to go together, knowing that it would be a perfect opportunity to be closer to each other. They went on rides, played games, and shared cotton candy, creating wonderful memories. During the fair, they spotted a fortune teller's tent. Curious and eager to know what the future held for them, they decided to give it a try. The fortune teller smiled kindly and began to read their palms. She looked into their eyes and said, You two have a connection that is rare to find. Your love will grow stronger with time, and you will face challenges together, but remember, love conquers all. Hearing those words, Alex and Lily felt their hearts race with excitement. They knew that they were meant to be together, and the fortune teller's words only confirmed their feelings. As the school year went on, they spent even more time together. They studied together, supported each other during exams, and attended school events side by side. Their friends noticed the spark between them and teased them playfully, but Alex and Lily just laughed it off. One day, as they were walking home from school, it started raining heavily. They found shelter under a big tree and laughed at their drenched clothes. In that moment, Alex looked into Lily's eyes and felt an overwhelming urge to tell her how he felt. He took a deep breath and confessed his love for her. Lily's eyes widened in surprise, but a smile soon spread across her face. She admitted that she felt the same way. From that day on, they became an inseparable couple. They held hands, shared secrets, and supported each other through thick and thin. Their love grew stronger with each passing day, and they were the happiest when they were together. As high school graduation approached, they knew that they would be attending different colleges. The thought of being apart saddened them, but they promised to make their long-distance relationship work. The day came when they had to say their goodbyes. Tears streamed down their cheeks as they hugged tightly, not wanting to let go. I love you, Lily, Alex whispered. I love you too, Alex, she replied. The years passed, and they kept their promise. They stayed in touch through letters, phone calls, and video chats. It wasn't easy, but their love was strong enough to withstand the distance. Finally, the day of their college graduation arrived. They were excited to be reunited once again. 
Alex had planned a surprise for Lily. He had secretly learned to play the guitar and prepared a song just for her. As Lily stood on the stage to receive her diploma, Alex walked up with his guitar. He started to sing a heartfelt song about their journey of love. The entire crowd was moved, and Lily couldn't help but cry tears of joy. After the song, Alex got down on one knee and pulled out a ring. Lily, will you make me the happiest man in the world and marry me? he asked. Lily was overjoyed and tearfully said, Yes, Alex, a thousand times yes. Their friends cheered, and the entire audience clapped as they sealed their love with a sweet kiss. And so, their love story continued. They got married, built a beautiful life together, and faced all the challenges that life threw at them, hand in hand. They never forgot the fortune, teller's words that love conquers all, and they proved it true every single day. Years later, as they sat together on their porch, watching the sunset, they reminisced about their school days and how far they had come. They were still madly in love, and their hearts were filled with gratitude for the beautiful love story they had created together. And they lived happily ever after. Once upon a time, in a quiet little town, there were two school students named Jack and Emily. They were both in the same class but hadn't really noticed each other until one sunny afternoon during recess. Jack was playing soccer with his friends when his ball accidentally flew towards Emily, who was sitting on a bench reading a book. The ball hit the bench and startled her, making her drop the book. Jack quickly ran over to apologize, and as he picked up the book, their eyes met. Sorry about that. Are you okay? Jack asked with a sheepish smile. Emily blushed a little and replied, Yes, I'm fine. Thank you for checking. From that moment, they started talking more and more. They discovered they had similar interests and a shared love for books and adventure. During lunch breaks, they would sit together and share stories of their favorite books and dreams of traveling the world. As days turned into weeks, their friendship grew stronger. They laughed together, helped each other with homework, and supported each other through tough times. They became inseparable, and everyone around them could see that they had something special. One day, as they were walking home together, Emily noticed that Jack seemed a bit down. She asked him what was bothering him, and after some hesitation, Jack finally opened up. He confessed that he was worried about his family's financial struggles and how it might affect his future. Emily listened attentively and held his hand, offering words of encouragement. She reminded him of his strengths and told him that she believed in his abilities. No matter what happens, I'll be here for you, Jack. We'll face everything together, she said with a warm smile. Those words meant the world to Jack. He realized that Emily was not just a friend but someone he deeply cared for. He started to see her in a new light, 
and his heart began to flutter whenever he was around her. One day, as they were sitting under their favorite tree in the schoolyard, Jack mustered up the courage to tell Emily how he felt. His heart was pounding, and he felt nervous, but he knew he couldn't keep his feelings hidden any longer. Emily, there's something I need to tell you, Jack said, looking into her eyes. I really like you. Not just as a friend, but more than that. Emily blushed and smiled shyly. I feel the same way, Jack, she replied softly. I like you too, more than just a friend. Happiness filled their hearts as they realized that they both felt the same way. From that moment on, they became a couple, and their love for each other grew stronger each day. They spent their weekends exploring the town together, going on picnics, and trying out new activities. They were each other's biggest cheerleaders and motivators. Whenever one of them felt down, the other was always there to lift their spirits. As they reached their final year of high school, they faced the uncertainty of what the future held. They both dreamed of attending different colleges and pursuing their passions. The thought of being apart was daunting, but they promised to support each other's dreams. Graduation day arrived, and they stood proudly holding hands as they received their diplomas. The future was uncertain, but they knew they had something special and worth fighting for. With tears in their eyes, they said their goodbyes as they prepared to attend different colleges in different cities. Long distance was challenging, but they made it work. They scheduled regular video calls, sent each other letters, and visited each other whenever they could. Their love only grew stronger as they faced the challenges of being apart. They knew that they were meant to be together, and distance couldn't change that. After four long years, they finally graduated from college. Jack surprised Emily by showing up at her graduation ceremony with a bouquet of flowers and a big smile. He had secretly planned to move to the same city as Emily to be closer to her. I couldn't imagine my life without you, Emily. You are my best friend, my love, and my everything, Jack said, his heart full of love. Emily was overjoyed and couldn't believe the surprise. I love you, Jack, and I can't imagine my life without you either, she said, tears of happiness streaming down her face. And so, they began their life together in the same city. They got jobs, rented a cozy apartment, and started building their future side by side. Years passed, and their love continued to grow. They faced ups and downs, but their bond was unbreakable. They got married surrounded by their family and friends, promising to love and support each other for the rest of their lives. As they stood together, hand in hand, they knew that their love story was a special one. It began with a simple soccer, ball, and a book, grew through friendship and support, and blossomed into a beautiful love that stood the test of time. And they lived happily ever after. In a charming little town, 
there were two school students named Sarah and David. They attended the same school but didn't know much about each other until fate brought them together in an unexpected way. One summer, the school organized a community service project. Sarah and David signed up to volunteer at the local animal shelter. They were both animal lovers and eager to help the furry friends in need. On the first day of the project, they met while cleaning the dog kennels. Sarah was scrubbing a kennel with determination when David accidentally bumped into her, causing a splash of water. They laughed at the situation, and their laughter broke the ice between them. As they spent more time volunteering together, they discovered they had so much in common. They both loved hiking, painting, and had a soft spot for rescue animals. The more they talked, the more they felt a deep connection growing between them. One day, after finishing their volunteering, they decided to go for a walk in the nearby park. As they strolled among the trees, butterflies fluttered in Sarah's stomach. She wanted to tell David how much she enjoyed spending time with him, but she didn't know how to put her feelings into words. David, on the other hand, was feeling the same way. He thought Sarah was the kindest and most beautiful person he had ever met. He wanted to let her know how special she was to him, but didn't know if she felt the same. As they sat on a bench overlooking a pond, they shared stories about their dreams and aspirations. The sun was setting, casting a warm glow over their faces, and in that magical moment, Sarah mustered the courage to speak from her heart. David, I want to tell you something, Sarah began, her voice a little shaky. I feel really happy when I'm with you. You make me smile, and I think you're amazing. David looked at her, his heart pounding, and replied, Sarah, you are incredible. I can't stop thinking about you. You make my days brighter. With those words, they realized that they both felt the same way. They smiled at each other, and in that serene moment, they knew that they had found something special. From that day on, they became inseparable. They went on hikes together, painted each other's portraits, and spent hours talking about anything and everything. Their love for each other grew deeper and stronger with each passing day. As the school year came to an end, they knew they would be attending different colleges in different states. The thought of being apart was heartbreaking, but they were determined to make their long-distance relationship work. They exchanged heartfelt letters and video calls regularly, supporting each other through the challenges of college life. The distance was tough, but they believed in their love and knew that it was worth the effort. During their college breaks, they made it a point to visit each other. Those reunions were filled with joy and love, and they cherished every moment spent together. After four long years, they both graduated from college, and they knew it was time to take the next step in their relationship. David got down on one knee during a beautiful sunset on the beach and asked Sarah to marry him. Tears of happiness streamed down Sarah's face as she said, Yes, David, a thousand times yes. 
Their families and friends gathered to celebrate their love as they exchanged vows and promised to stand by each other through thick and thin. And so, their love story continued as they embarked on the journey of marriage. They faced life's challenges hand in hand, always supporting and loving each other. Years passed, and their love grew even deeper. They achieved their dreams, raised a family of their own, and continued to be each other's best friend and biggest supporter. As they sat together on their porch, watching the sunset, they couldn't help but feel grateful for the beautiful love story they had written together. And they lived happily ever after, forever grateful for the day they met at the animal shelter, for it was there that they found a love that would last a lifetime. In a picturesque town, there were two school students named Max and Sophia. They were in the same class, but they were complete opposites. Max was outgoing, adventurous, and loved sports, while Sophia was quiet, artistic, and enjoyed spending time in the school library. One day, their school organized a talent show, and Max decided to participate with his basketball tricks, while Sophia contemplated showcasing her paintings. As the event approached, Max practiced his moves diligently, and Sophia painted with passion, but both felt nervous about performing in front of their peers. On the day of the talent show, the school gymnasium was filled with excitement. As Max performed his basketball tricks, the audience cheered in amazement. And when Sophia revealed her paintings, everyone was captivated by the beauty and emotion in her artwork. After the show, Sophia was feeling shy and overwhelmed by the attention. Max, who had noticed her talent from afar, approached her with a smile. Your paintings were incredible, Sophia. I wish I could create something so beautiful, he complimented. Sophia blushed and thanked him. And your basketball tricks were amazing, Max. You are so talented too, she replied, feeling a bit more at ease. From that day on, Max and Sophia started spending time together. Max would teach Sophia some basketball moves, and Sophia would share her passion for art with Max. They discovered that despite their differences, they complemented each other perfectly. As they spent more time together, they became best friends. They laughed, shared secrets, and supported each other's dreams. They were inseparable, and their friendship brought out the best in both of them. One evening, as they were strolling in the park, watching the sunset, Max couldn't contain his feelings any longer. Sophia, you are more than just a friend to me. I really like you, like, a lot, he confessed, feeling nervous yet hopeful. Sophia looked at him, her heart pounding. She had always admired Max's adventurous spirit and his kindness. Max, I feel the same way. You're not just my best friend, you're my everything, she said with a smile. Their friendship had blossomed into something deeper, and they couldn't be happier. They became a couple, and their love for each other grew stronger each day. They spent their weekends 
going on adventures together, exploring new places, and encouraging each other to chase their dreams. Their love was full of laughter, support, and understanding. As they reached their final year of high school, they knew they would be attending different colleges in different cities. The thought of being apart was heartbreaking, but they promised to make their long-distance relationship work. They exchanged friendship bracelets as a symbol of their love and commitment. Whenever you look at this bracelet, remember that I'm always with you, Max said with a gentle smile. Sophia hugged him tightly, feeling comforted by his words. And I'll always be wearing yours, knowing that you're with me too, she replied, tears welling up in her eyes. Their college journey began, and they faced the challenges of being apart with determination. They called each other every day, sent care packages, and planned surprise visits whenever they could. For years passed, and they both graduated from college. The distance had only made their love stronger, and they were more certain than ever that they were meant to be together. On a beautiful summer day, Max surprised Sophia with a picnic in their favorite park. As they sat under a tree, reminiscing about their journey, he took out a small box and got down on one knee. Sophia, you are my best friend, my confidant, and the love of my life. Will you make me the happiest man on earth and marry me? Max asked, his heart filled with love. Sophia was overjoyed and couldn't believe the moment she had dreamed of had finally arrived. Yes, Max, with all my heart, yes, she exclaimed, tears of happiness streaming down her cheeks. Their families and friends gathered to celebrate their love as they exchanged vows and promised to be each other's adventure, partner for life. And so, their love story continued as they embarked on the journey of marriage. They faced life's challenges, hand in hand, supporting and encouraging each other every step of the way. Years passed, and their love grew even deeper. They pursued their passions, traveled the world together, and shared a life filled with love, laughter, and endless adventures. As they sat together on their porch, watching the sunset, they couldn't help but feel grateful for the beautiful love story they had written together. And they lived happily ever after, forever grateful for the talent show that brought two opposites together and created a love that would last a lifetime.